Welcome to our lesson on blocks and whisker diagrams, also known as box plots. So in this lesson, we're going to plot and interpret a box and whisker diagram. So a box plot looks like this. We have our box, which is formed from the lower and the upper quartiles, and the whiskers are formed by the maximum and the minimum data values. And within our box, we have the median average. Now a box plot is particularly useful because it shows us the interquartile range, which is the width of our box, so between the two quartiles. And what the interquartile range does, it illustrates the middle 50% of data. So it eliminates the first 25% in this whisker, 25% in this data. So it shows us the most useful set of data in our results. Okay, so let's draw a box plot for some data points. So now we've been given the minimum, the lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and maximum. And from these, we can create our box plot. So the minimum value is at three, so we'll draw the whiskers here. And the maximum is at 15, so we'll draw this here. The lower quartile is at eight, which we can show here, and 13. And now we can create our box and our whiskers. And the median is at 10. So this is our box plot. And it has an interquartile range of the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, which is 13 take away 8, which is 5. Do you want to try and create the box and whisker diagram from this set of data? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so our minimum is at 21. The maximum is at 56. The lower quartile is at 32. And the upper is at 43. So now we can create our box and whisker diagram. And the median is at 38, which is here. So now we can show our interquartile range it's going to be the upper quartile, 43, minus the lower quartile, 32. So this gives us 11. So now we're going to create a box and whisker diagram from this data sample. Well, we can see our minimum is at three. Our maximum is at 28. So we can show these on our scale. To work out our lower quartile, well, we know the sample size is 12, so we'll divide this by four to work out a quarter, and this will give us our third data point, which is five. So we can show this here. Our upper quartile will be three quarters of 12, so our ninth data point, which is 23. We'll create our box and our whiskers and the median will be the sixth data point, so 17. Do you want to try and create a box and whisker diagram from the data in question B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So our minimum will be six, the maximum 26. The lower quartile will be the sample of eight divided by four. So our second data point, which is eight, the upper quartile will be the sixth data point. So 18, we'll create our box and whiskers. And the median will be halfway. So our fourth data point of 10. So now we're going to move on to comparing data sets by interpreting box and whisker diagrams. So these box plots summarise the mathematics and science results for a group of students. And we're going to use the median and the interquartile range to compare the two sets of results. So our first comment will be on the median. You can see the mathematics results have a median of 68 and the science results have a median of 64. So this shows that on average, 
students scored for marks more in their maths test. And the interquartile range. Well, the upper quartile for the maths results is 72, with a lower quartile of 58. So this gives us an interquartile range of 14. And in science, the upper quartile is 78, with a lower quartile at 38. So this gives us an interquartile range of 40. So our comment would be, there is a greater spread of results in the science test. Okay, let's try one final question. So here we have two box plots that summarise the waiting times to the nearest minute of a group of patients at an accident and emergency and a doctor's surgery. Do you want to try and write two comments using the median and the interquartile range to compare the two sets of results? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we can begin by identifying the median for a doctor's surgery, which is 24 minutes. The upper quartile is 29 minutes, the lower quartile 14. So this gives us an interquartile range of 15 minutes. For the accident and emergency, we've got a median of 19 minutes, an upper quartile of 31, and a lower quartile of 9. So the interquartile range of 22 minutes. So the median shows patients had to wait an average of five minutes more at the doctor's surgery. And the interquartile range shows there was a greater spread of waiting times at the accident and emergency. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.